everybody, welcome back to Tazza's Wood Closet at Week Studio One. If you're here to learn, please stay to be inspired. We are going to review a brand new Henry Margu style today. This is one that I am really excited about. This is Riley in the color 10613 GR. We're going to break down all the details, plus we're going to get down to some styling and all the stuff you need to know about Riley. Coming up. This wig style was sent to me directly from Henry Margu. You can find it at Wig Studio One. If you drop below the video and expand the description box, I will attach a direct product link. It'll be labeled Find Henry Margu Riley at Wig Studio One. If you click on that link, it'll take you out to the right place on the site where you can choose your colors, you can see pricing, order directly from there if you wish. We invite you to shop at Wig Studio One. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at wigstudio1.com and don't forget to visit us on our other social media. Uh, the Wig Studio One YouTube channel has a ton of variety. We have a private Facebook group called the Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group, as well as a very well-appointed Instagram page. All of those links are below this video as well. So I am really excited about this one. This is just right up Taz's alley here with all of this beautiful choppy beach wave. So this is a mid to long length layered style with some choppy beachy waves. It has some amazing cap features. And it's in the color 10613 GR. Let's touch on this color first. This 10613 GR is my favorite blonde in the Henry Margu line. You're going to see that it starts with a darker ash blonde and then it's heavily highlighted uh, with some ash platinum and all of that on a medium root. It's more cool, neutral to cool in tone. And it perfectly accents this choppy wave, doesn't it? Just gives them some definition and interest. So let's talk about these specs and dimensions real quick. So this 10 inch bang. Now typically a 10 inch bang would just hang in my face and be very bothersome to me to the point where in order to wear it comfortably, I would have to put it back. In this case, they seem to divide out and around the face in a way that uh, keeps it out of the eyes but it's coiled back too. So you're gonna see some natural wave that just kind of takes it away from the face. So it just almost looks like there's a little bit of a fringe there and you could put in a fringe. I want that to be clear because this would be a very easy one to do that for. Now overall, uh, this one is going to run right around 15, I would say 15 to 16 inches overall and then it features that choppy beach wave. It has been taken down on the ends. It does have that really pretty air dried look. It's rather smooth on the crown until you get about halfway down. Now let's talk about the monofilament features here. Henry Margu does an amazing cap. When I think about Henry Margu, I always come back to one word and that is quality. I've always enjoyed Henry Margu's styles over the years and I can always just say with complete confidence that these caps and the construction and the quality and care that they put into this worksmanship is just really top notch. So let's get up close. You're going to see a temple to temple extended lace front and center monofilament part. I'm gonna give you a look at the underside of this cap here in just a moment, but I always marvel at a Henry Margu lace front I've always enjoyed them. They're finely knitted there. All of the seams are obscured. It's the completely natural looking hairline. Nice fine knots. The highlight is brought right up to that lace front, uh, which always softens the darker rooting. And then that monofilament part that runs back to here. Now what you need to know here is that I have grown to really love and embrace that monofilament, center monofilament part. Now I know that some of you would have preferred a full monofilament top, but if we do have a lace front monofilament part, I'd rather it be in the center. I'll tell you why. Because there's such a wide parting space. So you're gonna see several inches of parting space in the mouth of that part. Now when you go clear back here, it's only about an inch and a half, but where it starts to 
uh, cinch in from the lace front, you're going to get a very wide parting space. That is going to accommodate just about any part you can think of. And I just find it super versatile. I really like parting mine just left of center. And this center part accommodates that very, very well. Um, sometimes when I get a left monofilament part, it's just a little bit too far to the left for me. And I end up having to work with it around the front. So for me personally, I really, really like this. And the feature is just done so beautifully. I want to talk with you about a feature that uh, when you bring it right out of the box, I just got this on my doorstep last night. And honestly, guys, sorry, but I couldn't wait. I took it out of the box and, and took a look at it. It had a pristine part right down the middle. Pristine, like flawless, straight Part. Do you know me? I got to get in there and mess up that part <laughs> because this style just begs to be beachy and casual. And so I just took my hands and continued to rake through and break up the part. There was no weave pattern. Like I say, it was just a pristine straight part there. And I woke up the fiber just a little bit. I didn't use any product. This is not a heat friendly style. I did not use any heat. Um, this is what you get with just a little bit of fluffing from your hands and just sort of breaking up that part. So the part still is rather straight. It's just not a pristine part, which I like. I like a, a nice messy parting space. It goes with a nice messy look of the beach wave, right? This is really a lightweight wig. It weighs just over four ounces. Um, there's not an overabundance of hair here. It's just a nice average density. It has a feathery movement. Henry Margu's fiber is a very fine, silky type fiber. It moves very wispy. It's got a feathery type movement to it, which I think is beautiful. So the density is just average. Now, the big question here, because Henry Margu really likes permatease, this does not have an abundance of permatease. This is just a nice moderate amount of permatease to support the style without anything unneeded or unnecessary. So you will find some permatease around that monofilament part and basically throughout the cap, including the nape there. Now it is the pillowy kind of permatease, but again, just all the right amounts in all the right places to support and sustain this style. This is not a terminally huge style either. Um, absolutely not. So there's not so much permatees that you can't work with the profile. This is one of those styles that you could go out in uh, iffy weather, you know, if you get a little bit of rain, a uh, little sprinkle or snow flakes coming down, it's just going to dry in this amazing air dried look. It's just going to continue to look great no matter what. I'm excited about this one, guys. Uh, this really reminds me of the Henry Margu Kendall, but only longer. So I'd like to bring out Kendall for you just to see. Uh, got it here on this mannequin. It's in the same color, that 10613 GR. I have seen this color remain consistent across all the styles that I have seen it on. So. Um, Kendall is a lot shorter, okay? It features some of that beachy wave. This is kind of the original beach wave for Henry Margu. And then your sides on this are gonna be a lot shorter compared to these by about three inches. Overall, it's gonna be about three inches shorter in length, three inches shorter on the uh, fringe. Just a gorgeous style. And I can see this being more of a sister style or progressive grow out look where you could have Kendall and move on to this Riley as a companion style for the grow out look. You're gonna get a little more volume on Kendall compared to the Riley just because those layers are stacked a little bit in the back giving it some volume at the bottom.
here's an inside look at the cap for Henry Margu's Riley. Notice the extended lace front. It goes about halfway back to into the ear tab. There's no visible seams. A pretty long monofilament part in the middle. And notice this parting space here. And there's a good three and a half to four inches of parting space before it moves back into the more narrow uh, monofilament. So this is a very natural look. And you'll notice that there is a velvet ear tab, velvet closed ear tab, lots of wefting. And then you do have the extended felted nape with the Velcro style adjusters. This is a very, very well-made cap by Henry Margu. Henry Margu's fit is usually an average fit that will stretch easily to average large. And I can make a secure adjustment for petite average. I think there will be so much versatility and styling for Riley. Uh, just because of the beautiful lace features, the length, there's a lot you can do here. Let's try with glasses. I have some sunglasses here. It fits nicely between the ear and the ear tab, and these sunglasses arms are pretty chunky. So I am getting a secure and comfortable fit. I'm just going to go ahead and manipulate and style this hair a little bit. Again, this is not a tutorial. It's just to get you more familiar with this particular style. There's a lot you can learn by how it moves and reacts and inspire you to style your wigs. Everybody have a great day. We'll see you soon on Tassel's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.